All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people like you and me. Um, super sad news from the world of music. Uh, we actually lost a couple of high profile musicians today. Uh, we lost Dan McCafferty from the band Nazareth. And uh, now we've lost a superstar guitarist from the band Alabama, Jeff Cook, founding member and legendary guitarist of the supergroup Alabama has died. Cook, a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Musicians Hall of Fame, Fiddler's Hall of Fame, and Gibson's Guitarist of the Year, passed away peacefully yesterday uh, with his family and close friends by his side at his beach home in Destin, Florida. He was 73 years old. The multi-award winning guitarist was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2012. Cook was a champion in all he attempted and he courageously faced his battle with a positive attitude. Jeffrey Allen Cook was born in Fort Payne, Alabama on August 27th, 1949. He began playing lead guitar and keyboards in bands at age 13, securing a broadcast license only three days after his 14th birthday. Cook went to work as a disc jockey at a local Fort Payne radio station. So definitely a man after my own heart. The broadcast bug had entered his blood and later resulted in him owning radio and TV stations. After graduating from Fort Payne High School, Cook received a degree in electronic technology from Gadsden State Community College in Gadsden, Alabama, and was named Outstanding Alumni by the American Association of Community Colleges. Cook loved that radio combined two of his favorite things, music and electronics. One of Cook's lifelong dreams came true with the construction of Cook Sound Studios uh, at his home in Fort Payne, Alabama, affectionately known as Cook Castle. The studio was a way for him to help musicians share their music with others outside of music. One of his favorite hobbies was bass fishing. He was proud to be an official fishing ambassador to the state of Alabama as proclaimed by five governors. Cook is credited for introducing the electric double neck guitar to country music. He was also an accomplished musician with the ability to play piano, guitar, fiddle, bass guitar, banjo, mandolin, and pretty much everything else that was thrown in front of him. Uh, he married the love of his life, Lisa Williams, on June 9th, 1995. The Cooks resided in Cook Castle atop Lookout Mountain in Fort Payne, Alabama. And they also had a home in Destin, Florida. As a member of Alabama, Cook enjoyed one of the most successful careers in country music history. Over 50 years ago, Cook, along with cousins Teddy Gentry and Randy Owen, left Port Fort Payne to spend the summer playing music in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a bar called The Bowery. It's a legendary story. It took Cook, Gentry, and Owen six long years of tip jars and word of mouth to earn the major label deal they've been dreaming of, then seemingly no time at all to change the face of country music forever. Cook's iconic guitar licks, unique fiddle style, exceptional vocals and harmony, along with his bandmates, went on to sell 80 million albums and charted 43, 43, number one hits, becoming the biggest group in the history of the country genre. Now, um, I was back in 1980, listening to the Eagles, Linda Ronstadt, Steely Dan, stuff like that. And this band comes along and I remember all my friends were like, you're listening to country? And I'm like, yep. And I remember playing um, I believe it was feel so right. And people were kind of astonished, like, Hey, this is country, but it's also pretty smooth. Uh, it sounds a bit like 
the kind of music that was being played on the radio during the 1970s. So it wasn't a huge departure. And when Love in the First Degree got on the radio, everybody was like, aha, so you're on to something. And then those subsequent albums just built upon that success. Even their first album, uh, My Homes in Alabama, was just, just groundbreaking. Uh, really unique production value and a combination of rock, pop, and country, and just legendary vocals. I mean, some of the vocals that came from that blend between Teddy and Randy, and now unfortunately, the late um, Jeff Cook, just outstanding, like one of a kind. Um, and so this guy was a pioneer. Uh, he had Parkinson's disease, so there's no real big mystery around his passing. Whereas today you find out a lot of these um, folks are kind of dropping like flies and you have no idea what the cause is and it's kind of scary. Uh, not to say that this wasn't a real big blow to everyone to find this out, but at least we know what was going on with uh, Jeff Cook. Uh, he is going to be really missed for those of you who got to see Alabama a couple of years ago, they were on tour and Jeff was out there uh, with them. Um, you really, you know, got blessed to see this great musician um, one last time. This is a band that had a huge impact on me and uh, what I listened to when other people were listening to um, various uh, other things. I, I was stuck on this group and followed them right through the 80s into the 90s where they retooled their sound a bit and updated it for the 90s and uh, continued to have just massive success during what I consider the golden age of country music, really the 1990s. But this band, they got things going right at the beginning of the 1980s. They were just so um, different and uh, they ended up selling so many records. Uh, they had a following like the Beatles. Let's just be honest. If you lived through how big that band was, uh, they were the Beatles of country music and just astonishing how amazing and what a career they have had. And uh, I'm not sure they will be out there on the road anymore without Jeff Cook. I'm assuming that this is probably it for Alabama moving forward, but uh, our thoughts and prayers are with all of the fans of this amazing musician and the family of Jeff Cook. Um, there aren't too many like Jeff Cook out there, and uh, he was a pioneer, an absolute pioneer. He basically played any instrument thrown in front of him. That's the description here, and it's an app description, and uh, when you hear those I don't know, those, those rock and roll guitar licks on those Alabama tracks. That's Jeff Cook being innovative and breaking new ground for that genre. Really, I can't say enough about Jeff Cook and I can't say enough about Alabama, just a great band. And um, that's my video on the topic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.